Hey, fire signs. Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 18th love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. These messages won't resonate with everybody, so make sure you're checking out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as those play an important part in love, especially your Moon and Venus. So, let's get started right away. I'm going to take you down so you can see your cards as they come out. Spirit angels, please bring me all messages for our fire sign friends. All right, your first card out is a Princess of Wands. What is coming towards them? And thank you. And the overall outcome of the day. Whoa. My goodness. He's got a lot of things to say. Okay. So your bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords in reverse. So somebody that you are dealing with is not speaking their truth. Um, the divine is trying to uh, remove that hesitation, remove that confusion, um, trying to awake them in the the um, the energy of their feelings, and they're kind of uh, blocking it out. However, they will. Somebody you're dealing with um, could be walking away from somebody else or walking away from you. One of the two we will see here um, as the cards come out. But um, most importantly, if you are not the one speaking and living your truth, it's time to um, open your eyes to uh, to what the, tr the beauty of truth brings. Um, I do, however, feel that that more than likely is the person that you are dealing with because you seem... Pretty awake here, fire signs. So, um, like I said, somebody is denying the truth. Somebody is not moving in the direction that they need to. However, um, you're getting over this hurt. You're getting over the sadness um, of them not living um, their truth by not accepting the fact of what this relationship was or could have been. You're letting that hurt go. And you're moving forward. Um, as you see, they're crying over the spilled three of cups. Um, so you could have been a third party. But now you're focusing on those two of cups. And you know that you have to set out in search of that. And when you take the eight of cups and the two of cups, you will find your ten of cups relationship. So um, for a lot of you, you're moving on from somebody who did not... Um, follow their heart. They're living, almost living a lie, um, denying their feelings, denying the truth. Um, but you're, you're getting to a point of where you are getting over that. Um, it was not easy though, for this group of you, you had a hard time, uh, letting this go, uh, moving forward. Let me get some clarifiers here. Um, let's go with the vice versa. We'll go in deep today. All right. So in the past, in the energy you are coming from, somebody blocked you out. Somebody cut you off. Somebody ghosted you. Somebody uh, blocked your messages. You were trying to tell this person how much they meant to you, how much you love them, how much you wanted to move forward in this life together, and they blocked you. Um, they didn't want to hear your truth because the truth was hard to hear. The truth would force them to have to deal with um, the 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 indecision in their own life. Um, in your current energy, you have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups in reverse, and the Prince of Pentacles. So um, you are giving up on a third-party situation. Um, yeah, this has not been easy for you. You've had a lot of internal conflict about this Three of Cups, about walking away. Um, you have... You realize that there's other people influencing this other person's decision, um, and you've also allowed yourself to um, to 
have a lot of inner conflict about this. You didn't want to be a third party, but you didn't want to walk away from this person either. But you are, um, you are now. You are no longer going to be that third party. You're no longer going to uh, be an option which is beautiful. It's taking you a while to get to this point, but you're moving forward. You're putting one foot in front of the other and you are working on bringing stability to your life. Why is the Prince of Pentacles here? Um, you also could slowly be moving away from an earth sign. Yep, there's that King of Pentacles. You're slowly moving away from um, an earth sign male for some of you, or I guess you don't have to be male, but you know, male or female. Uh, but this is also, there's two sides to this story because I'm seeing two different, completely different timelines here. Um, for some of you, you um, are giving up the fight. You're no longer fighting for this person that has somebody else. You're no longer um, putting in all the effort. And you are going to, uh, to move away from somebody who was stuck, stuck in a relationship with somebody that they had built a home with. Um, but... When you walk away, when you no longer allow yourself to be this third party, this King of Pentacles is going to realize what they lost and move forward towards you, um, offering you this new beginning. For another group of you, um, you are walking away as well. You're no longer allowing yourself to be that third party. And you are moving slowly away from the situation that almost totally paralyzed you in place waiting for this person. And you are going to move into a more stable commitment with somebody who's very grounded, very um, in the moment, uh, very stable, loving and committed. Um, so it's two sides. Either way, you guys, both groups are moving away from being this third party. Um, and new love is coming in for you. New uh, offers of uh, a relationship, whether this be with the person you were in a third party with or somebody new. But this most definitely has to be walked away from in order to get uh, this new beginning. Why is this Ace of Cups? There we go. The Ten of Cups. You have to walk away to get this this relationship that you want so bad. Um, it starts with inner love, though. You have to love yourself before you can um, get this ten of cups. So you may be starting out here all alone, loving yourself, showing yourself love, being in love with yourself. And when you do that, you're going to attract that person that's going to be that equal vibration and give you that love and commitment and happiness that you um, are wanting out of a partner as well as stability. Um, and that's the, that's the energy you guys are moving in towards um, at the moment. What is coming in, the energy coming in for you? You are starting to see the lesson in all of this. You're starting to see why this all happened. Um, you're starting to see that you were focused on the wrong thing. You were focused on this being this third party. You were focused on the love that you were not receiving from this third, uh, from somebody that put you in a third party. Instead of focusing on yourself, that cup of self-love, that cup of self-worth, um, um, and you're realizing now that it starts with you. You're realizing now that you have to love yourself and um, invest in yourself before anyone else will. Um, and so now you're starting to see that in the future here. Um, you're no longer going to focus on what went wrong in that third party. You're going to move forward. You're going to love yourself. You're going to invest yourself. And guess what? You're bringing in your true soulmate. This is bringing in that true love, that relationship that is an equal give and take. Um, why is the four of cups in reverse here? Yeah, you were, you were focusing too much on them not making a decision, them keeping that blindfold on and staying with somebody that you knew they didn't belong with. Um, and instead of focusing on your own choices in life, instead of focusing on choosing to love yourself, you are choosing to focus on their inability to make a choice. If that isn't confusing, I don't know what it is. But now you're getting it. You are seeing the value of yourself and you are seeing the value in investing in yourself and knowing your worth. Why is the two of cups here? And like I said, that's going to directly reflect and bring in somebody of that equal vibration um, for you. That that two of cups love, that soulmate that is going to make you um, see even more your value. This person is... Uh, this person is somebody who brings out the best in you. Um, you don't, you aren't better because they ask you to be, you're better because they inspire you to be, and you're going to have victory. You're going to have, um, inner, like 
inner wisdom, inner victory. Because on this side, he's heading off to war. The crowd is cheering him on. On this side, you've made it through hell. You made it through war. And you're still on that horse, victorious. And everybody is cheering you on. You have come back from battling everything of that five of wands. And, and you're beaten, battered, bruised. But you're still here. And you're still victorious. And this is about... A lot of battling your inner demons, battling your inner doubt, battling um, your self-esteem, your your self-consciousness. This is on the road, high road to self-mastery. And that's why this beautiful relationship is going to be that much more amazing because this person is your mirror. This person is showing you the beauty in you because you see the beauty in them. Spirit's advice is to be the four of pentacles. So, um, why is the four of pentacles here for spirit's advice? All right. So, um, spirit's advice is there's an earth sign that's going to come back to you. Uh, more than likely it is the one that puts you in this third party for the majority of you. Um, do not let them in to, I mean, I'm not saying don't, let them don't emotionally feel what you need to feel for them. What I'm saying is the minute they walk in the door, don't drop your guard and run back into their arms because for one, they don't deserve that. They are the one that, um, caused you to move into this more spiritual, uh, being of your, of your existence, which should be so grateful for, but don't, let your guard down too quick if this person is coming back to you. Don't let your guard down too quick to anybody. Um, obviously, love with an open heart, but be cautious about hand, putting it in their hands. Um, because this person made you feel defeated in the past, and you don't want to go back to feeling that way. This person um, almost kept you strung along. It was like breadcrumbing you. Um, so don't give them the power to destroy you again. Don't give them the power to make you weak because you are strong. Um, they're going through a lot of self-reflection right now. They're realizing what they did to you. They were very closed off to you. They didn't allow you in emotionally. But this person is starting to see that that the one person that had their back in this world is the one that they broke down. So Spirit's advice to you is to not jump in too quick um, and putting it all out there. Love with your whole heart, yes, but enter with caution because um, this person may not be ready to uh, to jump in full, uh, you know, all in because they have a lot of self-reflection to do. They have a lot of healing to do themselves. So, um, yeah, just don't give anybody the power to break you down. Don't give anybody the power to make you feel like this. In your guys' um, outcome, if you follow Spirit's advice, you are going to get out of this time of feeling mentally trapped. Like, you can't move forward without this person. This person is everything that I need, want, um, and I can't love anybody else. I need this person to move forward. Um, you are getting out of that. You're no longer feeling that because, like I said, when you find the love for yourself, you don't need anybody else to fill your cups. But you then send out to the world that vibration and it comes back to you tenfold. So when you realize that you are enough to make yourself happy, you're going to break free from this mental prison. Um, you're going to break free from these thoughts and needs of, or thoughts um, and ideas of needing this person. And you're no, not only going to get out of this place of inner, you know, this prison that you have had your mind and heart in, but you are going to bring in the vibration of somebody who unconditionally loves you. Somebody that is your best reflection of who you are, the love that you have to give. Um, this is a, a very deep love for each other. Um, this person may not express their feelings to you right away, but for the group that I'm seeing, the minute this person sees you, they know they're in trouble because they see the whole world in, in simply looking at you. They know that you are going to become a very important part of their life. Um, 
even though they won't express it right away, you're making a huge impact on this person. Why is this Eight of Swords here for a uh, fire sign's outcome? Wow. Uh, could be dealing with a Virgo um, or any earth sign that is, but the Eight of Pentacles for me is Virgo. Uh, you are breaking free from this thought, this idea, this feeling of being trapped and being the only one working on this connection um, by thinking that you, if you just work a little bit harder, they'll come back. If you just work a little bit more, if you do a little bit more, if you just do just this, just that, you're breaking out of this. You are putting the work in on yourself. And by doing that in this space of feeling stuck, it is going to get you unstuck. So keep working on yourself. Keep bringing the spiritual into the material. Keep manifesting what it is that you want. And you're going to bring in that vibration of somebody that truly loves you and be able to break out of this um, trap that you feel like you've been stuck in waiting for this person to return. Why is this King of Cups here for their outcome? Well, I was shuffling too before I started your video. You guys... Um, the, the temperance and the devil came out. So, uh, what a contradiction. The the, the self-mastery of light and dark. Everybody has it, and it's figuring it out how to master the two together, which is going to bring you happiness. So, yes, most definitely. When you leave this situation that broke you down, when you follow your inner voice, your inner guide, your inner wisdom, and allow that inner voice to lead you, in whatever direction it is, going with the flow, that is what is going to lead you to this true love. You are recovering from the tower. On this side, that's when that person left you, blocked you. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat chakra is closing. <clears throat> this is that person leaving you in the past, blocking you, ghosting you. This is realizing that there is a new day. Every time the sun sets and comes up that next morning, it is the opportunity to make your life the best of what it, it can be. You're seeing the sun. You're seeing the blessing in this tower moment. And you are officially moving on from this energy, from feeling like you have to be stuck here, feeling like... Um, this person is the only person that will make you happy. You're leaving all their drama, all their, um, just the whole tower moment, the whole third party situation. Um, you are moving away from that and it is going to lead you right into this, this situation where you are able to meet somebody who truly loves you, who truly treats you right, who is in it for the right reasons. Um, and they're going to think the world of you as that outcome. So you're finally getting over the hurt. You're finally getting over the pain of somebody not following their heart and leaving um, somebody in order to move forward. But in that, you are moving. You yourself are moving. And you are finding that Ten of Cups. You are finding self-love and the love of friends, family, another person. Um, but most definitely, you are going to find that person who, in your bottom of the deck, was the Queen of Cups. You are bringing in the person that you are meant to be with, the happiness that you are meant to have in um, this uh, lifetime fire signs. And <clears throat> you just have such amazing energy coming in for you. I hope this resonates with each and every one of you because this is what it's all about. This, this is what being here on earth is all about. Finding the love of yourself and giving it to those around you and it returning tenfold because you're doing what's best for you. You're doing what your inner voice, your inner guide is leading you to do and it's bringing you amazing emotional happiness. Okay, so let's get one card from our romance angels for the day. What is Thursday bringing in besides this amazing situation laid out in front of us?
bottom of the deck very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want so the universe can help you manifest it and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And I do see you taking those steps. And it is going to bring in this great love. So enjoy it, fire signs. You guys deserve it. I hope you have a beautiful Thursday. And I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.